everybody. Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So you saw a couple days ago, if you guys follow this channel, we did an unboxing with the new Fossil Gen 5 Carlisle watch that you can see right here. But today I want to go ahead and actually set this to the side for a little bit and talk to you guys about the new Fossil Sport 43 millimeter watch. Uh, these do actually come in two sizes, the 43 millimeter, like I said, I have here and also a 41 millimeter that is available as well. These watches are very comparable in specs, only obviously as the name implies, this is more of a sport variant uh, with a lot of more color schemes available. I believe this version comes in blue, red, green, black, and maybe a gray, but they look great. And if you're looking for more of a sportier watch, this definitely fits the bill. These do have the new Qualcomm Snapdragon 3100 processors. You are obviously getting all your regular bells and whistles that come with Android Wear or Wear OS smartwatches. You get your text notifications, your emails, any regular notifications in general. You're getting your heart rate tracking. It does have GPS built in. It's going to have, obviously, your microphone. This does not have a speaker, though, unlike that other Gen 5 that I was talking about earlier. You are getting uh, Bluetooth 4.2. And obviously these are compatible with iPhones and I and uh, Android devices. However, keep in mind, it is a lot more limited with iOS, even though Fossil has made great strides as far as what these watches can do in that regard. Aside from that, you get your standard affair. Like I said, you have Google Pay, untethered GPS, all the regular heart rate tracking, the customization that you have with the not only the watch dials themselves, but the bands, uh, in addition to the casings in this scenario. They are really preaching how interchangeable and customizable the sport is. You obviously have your waterproofing, you have all your other wireless syncings, you have all your, you know, your goal trackings with that uh, fitness capability of this watch. But again, nothing really out of the norm compared to some of the other new Fossil smartwatches as well. Mm -hmm. One really good call out that I want to say, and I really like this in my Gen 5, this watch right here has probably some of the best, not only battery life, but also fastest charging on a smartwatch that I've used. But enough of that. Let's go ahead and unbox this baby and take a look at it. Like I said, you guys can obviously see I decided to go with that royal blue color that not only matches in the dial and the bezel of the display, but also the band itself. And let me set this over there. You can see just how good of a designed watch this is. I've had a couple of fossil watches that I really like. So let's go ahead and pull this out though. Set the watch down for a second. You see you have all your regular booklets in here if you want it. Always such a thick journal to read. We're just gonna leave that alone. It's not that hard to operate uh, like your typical smartwatches. You have that same rapid charger that I was just talking about with the pins. Set that back in the box and throw this over here. And as you can see on this design, you have that gorgeous blue band that I was talking about on the top and a white bottom. So you get that dual tone look. I'll go ahead and put this on really quick for you guys to look at. Pull this baby off and there's that 43 millimeter face ignore the tag you can see the band and you have that white accent around the bezel and the band again definitely a sharp looking watch I'm not sure if there's gonna be any battery on this fossil usually has some in there however we're not looking like we're gonna get it this time what I can do I will go ahead and get this baby all charged up and in another video I'll be doing a actual side-by-side -side with the Sport and, like I said, that Gen 5 Carlisle. As you can see, I've already changed the band on this one. They are interchangeable, like I said. Remove that heart rate sensor box. You can see they just have the push pins to remove, uh, and you can put whatever you want in them. I actually really like this 22 millimeter band on this blue. Usually the bands are the first thing I switch out, but this, uh, this really looks nice. I'll go ahead and get this charged up, guys. Like I said, if you guys are not familiar with the interface, this is what they look like. This is one of the new default watch faces on these. And again, 
check them out guys they're on sale right now they've actually been on sale for quite a while through from since black friday of last year you can get this for a little under a hundred bucks right now i know amazon had a crazy deal this week that they were they had open box variants for only 60 bucks uh the Gen 5 has been a little higher, hovering around 200, but I'll throw a link up in the description. Let me know what you guys think between the designs. Which one do you prefer? Tell me in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel and make sure to turn on those notifications and give us thumbs up because we will be doing a lot more hands-on comparisons with these two devices. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one.